And this game is underway. Lee Harper. Smoking. Hey everyone, Leo Bond here. I'm back again today for the Best Buy Canada blog, and this time I'm taking a look at the Arcade 1UP NBA Jam Arcade Cabinet with Custom Riser. And this thing is pretty much exactly what it sounds like, uh, a full-sized arcade machine that you have in your very own home, just like back in the day with all the arcades. Now, I grew up in a town that was far too small to have an arcade, so that wasn't really a thing for me. But when this thing showed up at my door, I was just blown away by it. Uh, it you know, it does come in pieces. It's kind of similar to putting together pressed wood furniture, that type of thing. So it took roughly an hour and a half, I think, or so to do it. Now, I'm kind of trying to extrapolate the time based on the fact that it actually took a shorter amount of time, but my wife helped me out. So probably be about an hour and a half for most people, maybe a little bit quicker than that. Now, it is somewhat complex. There are a lot of bits and pieces, screws, dowels, panel bits, and uh, various electronic components and whatnot. And it's uh, kind of like putting together a puzzle in a, in a way, but there are some pretty good instructions for it as well. And I'm going to kind of walk you through a little bit of what I'm doing here as I put it together. So right at this point, I'm just putting in some of the dowels, and they kind of go in along with the screws in different places to hold the panels all together. And then I'm moving along to put on the LCD screen, and that's held on by these little brackets with four screws, two on each side that go in different directions, and that kind of hold the screen into place. And there's a lot of sliding panels with this too that just kind of slide into place and don't actually get screwed into anything They're just kind of held in place by the other pieces of wood and that sort of thing Now the bigger panels the ones on the side those are held in place by a lot of different screws and dowels There are many many going on there and it does take a little bit of wiggling You kind of have to finagle it to get everything lined up just right and then she sort of falls into place And you can start putting in all the screws and like I say once you've got it all aligned and you start in putting in the screws the whole thing really starts to come together pretty quickly after that uh, and then of course there's a front piece that shows off the different games that it has built in kind of like a little billboard or something and one of the final steps is to put on the main console and screw down the protective covering that's over that it's similar to it well, looks like glass but it's really plastic and then you can see me kind of screwing on the joysticks there and stuff and as you can see that console is pretty big now i don't think that this machine is uh, likely to tip over. Uh, it is intended, though, for people ages 14 and up, and if a small child did try to climb up the side of it, it is certainly possible that it could uh, come down, so definitely be careful of that. And finally, you go around to the back of the machine and you start plugging in all the electrical wires. Uh, there's wires for things like sound and graphics and power. And once you get all those into place, then you can start closing up the back of the machine by installing the panel backing, which is pretty much like any sort of panel backing that you'd see with, you know, pressed wood type of furniture. And it has a place for the main power cord to come out. And after that, it's just a matter of plugging it in and getting started playing. Now, once you've got it all set up, provided you've got a decent place to put it. It really is a lot of fun. It's got a custom NBA Jam marquee at the top that lights up. It's got a nice big 17-inch display screen, and it features three very cool basketball-themed games from back in the day. The first one, NBA Jam, I think that came out around 1993, and I actually remember playing that one quite a bit myself back then with my cousin. We really had a lot of fun with it. Now, there's also NBA Jam Tournament Edition and NBA Hang Time, and I've really been having a lot of fun with the Hang Time as well. It's almost like a slightly better version of NBA Jam. And all these games are two-on-two -two basketball, and what's really neat about this is that there's four different places to play, so as long as you can squeeze four people in there, you can all play against each other at once two-on-two. -two. But anyway, a very cool machine overall. There are some other similar cabinets if you're not into basketball for example there's one with star wars games in it uh, there's one with some marvel themed games and there are even the classics like pac-man and and ones like that i kind of wish i got the pac-man that would have been a lot of fun but then again i really did have a lot of fun with this nba jam as well and the one that you see me playing there right now that's the hang time game and you can do some really cool slam dunks with this one they're flipping they're doing all kinds of stuff and if one player makes three consecutive shots he starts to really heat up and catch fire and sometimes when he makes a shot the net will actually burn it's pretty cool anyway 
A lot of other cool things with this machine as well. You can actually hook it up to your home Wi-Fi network and play against other people online, which is just far beyond anything that I actually expected with this, you know, before I received it. And of course, it does come with a customizer as well. You don't have to install that if you don't want to, but it is a quick build and it should raise a machine maybe 15, 16 inches, something like that. So it comes to, out to more of an adult size. And it really only took maybe 10, 15 minutes to put that part together. Anyway, a lot of cool stuff with this machine. You can even buy a matching NBA Jam stool if you want to. But anyhow, that's all I'm going to say about this arcade setup for now. I hope you enjoyed watching the video and maybe learned something a little bit useful. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.